Hey guys, um, so here's a video to help you go over this FRQ. So we've got Anderson land and very important information is listed for us right here in the beginning. Uh, Anderson is in long run equilibrium with full employment. That should ring a bell to you that the graph is going to be our traditional ADAS graph with the long run aggregate supply going right down the middle and intersecting with both of those. We also are given the information that in the short run, nominal wages are fixed, which we kind of should know anyway. Uh, okay, so part A, draw a correctly labeled graph of the short run aggregate supply, long run aggregate supply, and aggregate demand. Show each of the following. Equilibrium output, labeled Y1, equilibrium price level, labeled PL1. So if I hop over to this rubric, you guys can see that we've got that long run intersecting at the same place where this short run and the aggregate demand intersect. We've labeled it Y1 and PL1. So if you'll notice in the rubric, you earn two points for that. Okay, so that is one point for the correct graph with PL1, and then another point for showing the vertical long run aggregate supply is in the same place as these other two right here. So that's two points. Going to the next part of the question, assuming that there is an increase in exports from Anderson land on your graph from part A, show the effect of the higher exports on equilibrium in the short run, labeling the new equilibrium output and price level Y2 and PL2 respectively. Increase in exports, C plus IG plus G plus XN. XN is right here, it's an increase. Therefore, we're gonna be shifting that aggregate demand line to the right. You've got your new quantity, you've got your new price level. One point is earned for showing that rightward shift in aggregate demand. Moving on to the next part. Part C, based on your answer in part B, what is the impact of higher exports on real wages in the short run explain? So whenever you see explain, you know that's gonna be a second point. So there's two points up for grabs here in part C. Higher exports, oh, I just proved myself wrong. Wow, I am shocked. Um, I really am. I thought that there would be two points here, but it says one point is earned for seeing that real wages will fall because the price level has increased and nominal wages are fixed in the short run. So unless you get both parts of that right, you are not earning that one point. So I'm glad that happened because typically I see explain and I think, okay, that's the second point, but lesson learned. Okay, last part. As a result of the increase in exports, Export-oriented industries in Anderson land increase expenditures on new container ships and equipment. Interesting. New is a key word here. What component in aggregate of aggregate demand will change? Well, if it's the industry, it must be the investment component, or IG. Please make sure that you write out the word investment and don't just write IG. You don't want to lose points for being too brief. Lastly, what is the impact on long run aggregate supply? Explain. Well, we haven't really learned this yet, but I wanna see what you guys can do. So if you go back up here, we had an aggregate demand shift to the right. As a result, suppliers in export related industries decided to supply more through container ships, new container ships and equipment that's going to push this aggregate supply line to the right and theoretically we would be seeing that aggregate supply line move out um, and meeting the aggregate demand somewhere else that means that this long run aggregate supply is going to shift to the right because these two lines are finding each other the second aggregate demand and second short run aggregate supply in a new location so rather than the short run pulling back because production costs increase and we wound up on long run, that didn't happen. Supply increased, so we pushed it out. So one point is earned for stating that the long run aggregate supply is gonna shift to the right because the capital stock has increased. And this is a phrase, this is a term that we're gonna work on a little bit more in class on Friday because capital stock is different than capital investment and I'm bringing you this FRQ today because I want us